Hi, in this video, we're going to think about how we can invent a toy for a friend using Maker's Empire 3D. I'm going to think about people who are special to me and choose one person to make a toy for. I'm going to choose my friend Mandy. Now I'm going to think about all the things that Mandy likes. She likes the color purple, she likes dancing, she likes helping people, she likes airplanes, and she likes playing with Lego. Hmm, what will I make for Mandy? I know, I'm going to make an airplane toy for her. First, I'm going to open Shaper. I'm going to use this capsule shape for the body of my airplane. I'm going to make it purple because that's Mandy's favorite color. I'm going to use the rotate tool so this capsule shape is laying down. Then I'm going to use the resize tool to make it a bit bigger. I'm going to tap the resize tool to change to free resize. And I'm going to stretch this capsule out to make it a bit long and sort of the shape of an aeroplane. Put that in the middle. Okay. Next, I'm going to use this popsicle shape for the wings. First, I need to use the rotate tool to spin the wings around so they are flat and laying down like aeroplane wings should be. If I keep moving around, I can get better angles and it makes it easier for me to see what I'm doing. I'm going to use the free design, so free resize shape to stretch the wings out a bit and make them a lot skinnier. I'm going to move them up so they're in the middle of my aeroplane. That looks pretty good. Wait a minute. Aeroplanes definitely need two wings, don't they? I'm going to make a copy of this wing by selecting the wing. I press this box with the three lines to see all my extra tools. And the copy tool is this one that looks like two rectangles on top of each other. Now I have two wings. I'm going to flip this wing over using the rotate tool all the way over like flipping a pancake. And then I'm going to move it over to the other side of my aeroplane and make sure it's touching and is lining up with my other wing. That's looking pretty good. Aeroplanes also need a tail, not just wings. So I'm going to use the copy tool again, and this time I'm going to rotate the wing so it's standing up straight. Then I'm going to move it down and onto the back of my aeroplane. I'm going to make it a bit smaller than the wings. And I might stretch it up a bit using free resize. There. Make sure it's touching my aeroplane nicely. And make sure it's in the middle. That's looking good. Now there is still something missing. We need somewhere for the pilot to sit. I'm going to use the capsule shape again, but this time I'm going to make it light blue. So it looks sort of like glass a bit. And so the pilots can see where they're going. I need to use the rotate tool to spin this around so it's laying down. I'm going to use the resize tool to make it a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to carefully move this to the front of the aeroplane. That's a little bit too small. I might make that a bit bigger. And there we go. 
We've got a cockpit for the pilots to sit in, made out of glass so they can see where they're going. Our aeroplane has two wings and a tail so it's going to fly. And it's purple, so my friend Mandy's going to love it. Now you can try to make a toy too. Remember, think about who you will make a toy for, think about what type of things they like, and think about what type of shapes you're going to need to make a toy for them. Some other ideas for toys that you can make with Maker's Empire include cars, trains, teddy bears and fairy wands. Have fun!